And hello, hello, hello. Hi, everyone. Hi, Hi. Rachel. Hi, T. <laughs> How are you? I'm cold. <laughs> cold. Poor Rachel. Well, we I, had you know, first... I'm not going to no. say that. I'm not going to say that because I was the one who said to you, you were nuts from going from Florida to Maine. So <laughs> I, I, I get that. I totally get that. But I was too hot. <laughs> Well, you could have, you know, you could have picked somewhere in the middle, like, you know, Maryland, Virginia, Pennsylvania. I don't know. You got to pick a state that appreciates their people, though. <laughs> Man, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Is Maine that state? I don't know. I don't know. I'm still learning. All right. <laughs> but we got our first snow today like real snow it's been snowing wow. all day yeah all right so what's today the ninth there's an old wives tale that says the first day that it snows yeah whatever the day date is like today's the ninth that means you're going to get nine snowstorms hmm but they don't really define what snowstorms are, right? Is that is that a inch or is that a foot? You know. I, <laughs> All right, let's true. say hi to our peeps. Let's say okay. hi to everybody, guys. Say thank hi. you so much, everyone, for coming in. So appreciate you guys always coming back time and time again, and. Um, I have a bone to pick with you, Miss I C U E R R N. She was my BFF first, okay? <laughs> well, that is Michelle. And Michelle is like my BFF partner on my channel. We go live. We're definitely live on Mondays. We haven't worked anything out yet. Okay. But, uh, you know, we. she's been selling a long time in communities. So I don't know. I'm surprised if you don't know her because. You know, you know, and it's it's no She's disrespect amazing. to anybody in the chat. Um, like last, but night, I have known T for since the beginning. Yeah. So, like in the beginning, when we were first doing auctions, like I was more involved with the community and helping people even sell on their channel, and you know, getting people up and running. I mean, listen, you wouldn't have sold if it wasn't for you coming on my channel. And there was a lot of people who came on my channel. I mean. I mean, I think flipping crazy Lisa is still out there somewhere. She was like my Oh my first gosh, I remember her. Yes. I think, I think she is still out there doing auctions. I don't know. Paul Antonelli. We did for the yes. longest time, right? Yeah. And um, you know, then Donna. And you know, then I we love had you on and so many people on along the way. And then I did Brian's I, Rob and I went to Pennsylvania. Um, for those of you that don't know Brian, Mr. Buys a lot. Um two years ago this past Halloween because Pat Dees and myself and a bunch of other people were like, Brian, you should be doing auctions. You know, he had like a mil 3 million items with, you know, a half a million listed on eBay and still had to purge and sell stuff. So we spent the whole holiday weekend down there with him. I mean, it's one of my biggest views on, if you go back and you look at my Halloween weekend at Brian's, I think I had like 20,000 views on that video. Um, because we did like a two day marathon and that's how Brian got involved with reselling as well. So really there was a lot of people that kind of tapered off, but now since I've kind of gotten my own thing, I really don't go visit too many people. Like last night they did the fundraiser for Jennifer and I love Jennifer and I know yeah. Jennifer for as long as I'm on YouTube and she was always great coming in to everybody's chat and dropping links and always you know, she's the sweetest. Out all of that and i'm friends with her on facebook and when she posted this week that she was burying her daughter i was like oh my god so um she did come in tuesday night and she said they were doing something for her on uh somebody named glam's closet and i don't know her either i went in there last night to support her i put it out on auctions for you i put it on my community page um and, you know, I, I realized like there's people that a lot of people in there, like Adam and people that we know from the very beginning. I'm on you. I'm really on YouTube for 10 years. I've had four different channels. Um, this channel has been around about four and a half years. But um, at the end of the day, um, you're like, 
you know, you just kind of get away from going to everybody's channel, you know, just because you're so caught up in your own and it's no disrespect again to, to anybody else, to you. I mean, cause you got, you go live and, you know, I try to come in when I can come in. Um, but you know, the so it's really hard, right? Because on, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm still keeping my eBay. I wasn't like Donna where Donna said, I'm not doing eBay anymore. Brian's even considering not doing eBay anymore now with the whatnot scene. I mean, Donna's completely married to whatnot and that's fine. Brian's starting to get married to whatnot. He's, you know, not giving up his YouTube auctions yet. He's still going live Tuesday, uh, Wednesday and Thursday when he can. They did go live today. I don't think they're going live now again till either Wednesday of next week. So, you know, um, it's hard doing it all. So I'm trying to do what not twice a week. I'm trying to do this twice a week. And then I've got my eBay. We're trying to do some local marketplace. I'm moving. So I'm trying to purge bigger stuff. Oh, you know, no. Big this treasure. so much going on. So, you know, it's hard to get into everybody. So, again, no disrespect. Welcome, Michelle. Thank you for coming in. Well, I, I found it really hard when you were with Donna to always be in the chat, too, because it was really busy. The chat would go so fast. I don't know how you kept up saying hello to everybody. Donna had her, her thing going, and it was like, it was so, like, there was just too much. Like I felt a little bit of anxiety. I couldn't bid. I was like, Ooh, I can't stay, you know? And right. I felt so bad because I was like, I'm outnumbered here. I gotta go. It is tough because, you know, people are fast and people got more money and, you know, right. but I miss the old days where, you know, you used to do the, um, you guys were the first ones who were doing the, what was it? The marathons. Yes. And I missed that. I, I missed that. I talked about it, and we're still talking about it, guys. I'm not really sure if we're going to definitely do the full marathon, but we're going to probably maybe do some kind of community. You know, the problem with me is I'm going to be back in New York. Now, that's not to say I won't have things to sell because my father's moving, you know, and we probably could sell things from his house. So we'll see. But stay tuned for that. We'll we'll have a little announcement around something to that effect. I'm not really sure exactly how that's going to go down, but we'll figure it out over the next couple of days. Hi, KK, here. honey. How are you? Look, Jay's in the house. Can I ask him for my shirt? <laughs> <laughs> Mama Beth, welcome in. Welcome in. KJ. She's probably going to go, what? What? KJ. Where the heck have you been? Where have you been? Good to see you. I haven't seen you forever. Do you still have a wrench? Has, has it been that long? <laughs> so funny. Oh my God. Ozma, Ozma, you missed oh. it the other night. I was calling your name, Ozma. I sold a pair uh, of Cartier, uh. Cartier sunglasses. I gave them away. What? Missed it. Rockley Rob in the house. He's always joking about turnstile jumper. He's waiting for somebody to have the name turnstile jumper. That's my oh, husband. Funny. Those of you that don't know who Broccoli Rob is. That Broccoli was the name Rob. That was the name of our restaurant. It was a play on words. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Hi, Vintage Memories. Oh, uh, yeah, it was Robbie's birthday on Tuesday. So, yes, we had a good time. Jay. Happy birthday. See, Jay's in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Paul. Good thing you kept YouTube as an option. What not crashed 30 minutes ago? See? Oh, kidding. Oh, good. Tell everybody to come over to our auction. <laughs> <laughs> right? I should go over. Right. I don't know if I can, I can, I can um, honestly advertise on my whatnot channel. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Oh, hi, Perry. Oh, Trisha, how are you, honey? Good to see Aww. you. Welcome in. Rummage, what's going on, Jai? How are you, sweetheart? Striker. Hello. Thank hello, you. Hello. <laughs> All right. Yes, everybody, welcome in Michelle. Yes. And don't forget, Mr. guys, Mr. to subscribe to one another. All you have to do is hit the three dots next to somebody's name. Pet D's in the house. Hi, Pat. Pet D's. 
Memers, there she is. She won the Cartier. I didn't even invoice you yet, Memers. I figured I'd wait till tonight so funny. Um, to, to invoice a lot of people. And, um, oh, Gina, thank you. Bolo recommendation. Oh, Courtney, nice. my girl. Thank you. Thank you for coming, Gina. Gina, if you want, there's never any obligation, guys. We don't charge here. You don't have to be a member, although I appreciate anybody who joins membership. That's always great. But you don't have to be a member here. There's no cost. You just have to fill out the registration form that's pinned to the top. That's all. Um, and we'll talk about how the auctions goes and, you know, what we um, what we do. So nice, nice to see you, Gina. Thank you. Rummage says it's not crashed. Uh-oh. All right. I don't know. <laughs> All right, KK. I got your text, honey. Okay. <laughs> okay. Miss Price is anonymous. Her. Boy, I haven't seen you in a hundred years either. How are you? <laughs> Wait, so long you don't have your wrench, Mrs. Anonymous. Mrs. Anonymous, oh, make no. sure I have your updated information. If it's all good on a new registration form, just say T, it's nothing's changed, and I will re-wrench you. Bye bye shit. What's going on, Mr. Christopher? Good to see you. Hi, honey. Welcome in, welcome in. Rummage, no sellers can run anything. Pirate and four other shows quit their live. Oh, gosh. What? All right, well, we're here. We're up and running, and we're uh, we're selling. Hi, Jen. Wow. Honey. How are you? Hey, Jen. So, yeah, so those of you who don't know Rachel, she comes in as real beauty. I know Rachel since day one here on YouTube, and um, she has auctions on her own channel as well with Michelle, ICU RN nurse, and uh, make sure you subscribe to them and follow them as well. Uh, so sorry, Mrs. Ooh. Anonymous. No good. No, no, uh, no. Sorry, honey. No, sorry. Oh. Junebug, hi my girl. How are you? Hey, June. Gail, nice to see you too, Gail. Hello, hello. Thank you guys. Appreciate everyone coming in. So, um, thanks, Jen. Thanks so much. And tell everybody um, what um, maybe a few things that you're going to show tonight, and what you are going to do as far as what your uh, Procedure, invoicing, immediate pay, shipping. Talk about that a little bit. Yeah, so um, I can't do free shipping because I pay extra for my goods. So I'm sorry for that in advance. Um, but I do pirate ship and you could build a box and I'm more than happy to build a box because I do that with everybody. So um, it saves you on shipping. So like if you only buy one thing and you want to come back like on another, you know, Monday on my channel, but I'm on other people's channels too. I'll be on Ellis. Uh, save here first this week this month um there's a couple other channels and it'll always be in my community tab where i'll be so um you can do that um but it's cheap it's pirate ship i do the cheapest shipping possible so um i have vintage sweaters some purses um i have um going to do some pretty good vintage purses i heard the word dooney and i heard the word michael and a couple yeah of other yeah um i'm gonna do some you know vintage toys i have mystery bags of old stock but brand new jewelry um uh, i feel like i'm forgetting stuff but yeah i've got like a a mix i do have some men's stuff i have some funko pop keychains also a fluffy dog baby sleeping next to me uh maybe some funko pops back there um i just have a little variety for you guys tonight all right good good and and we're gonna mix it up tonight a little bit of auction and a little bit of buy it now you know me, guys, I've kind of embraced this buy it now thing so we can move a little quicker. And, oh, skincare, says Michelle. 
Oh, I've always got high end um, makeup and skincare and it's all brand new. Um, and that's because I do weddings. So I have my cosmetology license and I hit all the deals when I can do the deals. And then I keep a stockpile for you guys. Awesome. <laughs> so. When I click the pinned link to update my registration, it only says the phrase, Rachel is a good seller. What? <laughs> Are you kidding me? What? What? <laughs> you guys are just doing too nice, too nice right now. Don't be I don't too know. nice. Comes up for me. Uh, I'm not sure what the, the, the deal is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a too funny. Too funny. Mm. Oh, too funny. All right. I don't know. Um guys, yeah, I will I, also I see doing, the form. I will also be doing a giveaway tonight. And um all you need to do is be present when I do the giveaway and have made a comment in the chat because in order for you to be entered into the giveaway, it you just have to make a comment. No, yeah. I'm not kidding. I'm serious. I hit the link and got the form. I hit the link and got the form too. Me too. Me too. Hey, hey, just drop the link for me so she can click it. <laughs> oh my gosh. I think I know who that is, and I just want to run over there and hug her. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, I don't so have cool. you out. Honestly, Mrs. Anonymous, I don't have you on the new form. I don't have you on the new form. All right, guys. Um, so that's the deal tonight. Now, as far as what Hi, Kyle. As far as what I'm going to be bringing tonight, I will tell you that I have some vintage glasses um, I think going back as far as 1970 from United Features Syndicate. And then I'm going to do some Christmas and some clothing and add some other vintage stuff and just some buy it now simple stuff. I actually have, I was kind of debating on whether or not I was going to bring this or not, but I think I have a brand new tablet that I found and I have no idea where it came from. I don't think it's ever even been used ever. A tablet? Where did you find a tablet? And what kind of tablet? What? In the middle of, in the middle of this store. I mean, it's crazy. Yeah, it is, huh? it's, it's just crazy the things that just all of a sudden show up. Kyle! Hi, Kyle. Love Hi. it. Love it. <laughs> all right. So, Rachel being a guest, guys, Rachel will go first. So, um, which one do I need to do? Three? Yeah, three is good. We'll do three at a time. Yep. Okay. Um, just let us know uh, up ahead of time if you're going to uh, do a buy it now. Just throw the price out there first because KK yells at me if we don't put the price Got you. out first. And then if it's an auction, just say we're going to bid on this and we'll go from there. I got you. All right. Got you. All right. We'll get a couple little easy lots out of the way. Um. Not lots, but like these are just going to be buy it now for $4 and you can choose which one you want. And they're all Funko and they're all Disney. And I will just tell you that only one of them has like a little bit of box issue, which is this one. It has a little like I'm up and I'm down. So you got Ramp, Jack, the skeleton, and they're all the Funko like keychains. And I don't know why that is just killing me with the light right now. So $4 buy it now. You just have to put the name in. So we got Jack. I got the genie. And they are the keychains. And I have this one, Ed. Ed. Gosh, I can't. Do you know why the glare is so bad? Sorry, guys. All right. It. Junebug wants the Jack. Okay. So Jack is out. So there's Ed from Lion King. There is uh, Jack Jack. I dropped the link for the registration. I got 
Regular Dumbo. And then I have this one, which is so cute. Dumbo the Clown. Dumbo Clown. Oh, my God. That is adorable. And I'm not a clown person, but it's like a clown. I know. It's like a clown elephant, so it's a little bit Yeah. Different. You know, it's so cute, right? So cute. All right, four dollars each, guys. We got June's got the jack. If anybody wants another one, let us know. Jay wants Judy. Judy? What? What? I don't know. Was there a Judy? <laughs> Was there a Judy? No. No. Jay, is that a typo, or is, are you saying hi to Judy in the chat? Jack, maybe? Do you mean Jack? Or is it, does he, is he, is it a nickname for Kyle? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know either. Let us know, Jay. Is that, are you just saying hi to somebody? <laughs> uh, there is Jack, Jack. There's the baby Jack Jack or Jumbo. Oh, Jack, I don't Jack. know. Nobody wants Jack Jack. <laughs> okay. I'm like, uh oh. Okay, so that was Jay. Right I know. <laughs> I was like, who that? Who that? Yeah. Okay. All right. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. So I still have Lion King, the two Jumbos, and Aladdin. So. Uh, Jeannie. So Jeannie, Ed. Gosh, that glare is terrible. What in the beanpot is going on? I guess it's that. Whatever. Right? The same thing with my glasses. There you go. Michelle wants Ed, Dumbo. Look at the tongue hanging out of Ed. Michelle wants regular Dumbo or clown Dumbo? Regular or clown? <laughs> you right, Jay? <laughs> the clown one. Clown one. Clown one for Michelle. Thank you, Mrs. Anonymous. Thank you, honey. Appreciate it. Gotcha. All right. So that's what's left you if you see them. All right. Lion King, Aladdin, and the Cl and the regular Dumbo, if anybody's interested. And if okay. guys, if you're re-watching this, we've put uh, Rackets, which is um, Rachel's email in the chat. You guys can okay. message her for anything. Y'all on racket. So old. Okay, I'm going to start this little lot out at uh, $10. And there's a reason for it. Oh, Jay All wants right. Aladdin as well. Jay wants Aladdin. Fox in the air. Gotcha. Where she is, babe. All yours. Perfect. All right. So it would be this vintage four piece um, Holly um, napkin ring holders. Yes, Junebug. She will send you an invoice, honey. Yes. Yes, for sure. Invoice, and I can stack a box for you. So, um, so that's one. These are vintage. These are made in uh, Taiwan. All right. Jay's also going to take the Dumbo. Okay. Gotcha. And Dumbo. All right. Let's put that one in his bag. All right. The only one that's left is, uh, is Ed now from uh, Lion King. All right. So this is a lot. You would get the rings. You would get this. Pewter holiday bear ornament. 
Here we get this pewter ornament that has a lot to be said there. It's got the John, uh, the verse on it. This is a lot, so. $10 start the, on the lot. There Push is this. Lot. This lot, guys. Lantern with a cherub angel in it. It's new and boxed also. It has a little tea light in it. It's just flipped over. I was trying to get it flipped back. But that would be this. And then also in the lot, you had got this Kurt Adler. Oh, brand new cute. with tags. Oh, it's a Kurt Adler. Nice. Mm hmm. Cute. That's so cute. You put it on the door or wherever. It's got this nice little handle. And that's worth way more than. It's like you could put that in the kitchen like a chef's hat almost. Yeah, it's worth way more than $10 just for him. Right. All right. So you get, you get it all, guys the candle, the napkin holders. The two pewter ornaments and the lantern. You need to set up like a little external camera so you can put it in front of you. I, I have no internet here, so I can only use a tablet. We're oh. still waiting for them to put internet up this way. Oh, so you're on, you're on like a Verizon. Uh, I'm on 5G T-Mobile, no internet. Okay. So there's your lot, $10 if anybody wants to start me. If not, I will put it away. All right, if there's no interest, guys, we're going to pass on it. Okay, I have some vintage sweaters that I will bring one to show you kind of an idea. They're going to range from new, some new that look vintage to really, really vintage. So I'll just pull one for now off the rack. I kind of put like a little necklace so and get an idea. But this is a crossing barrel and it's a petite large and it is a zip up. And I will tell you that I am selling you clean as is except for my little tiny chihuahua the, what you'll meet i can't help it even if i clean this right now and roll it i've picked him up and you may find a hair on here <laughs> after i've done all my goodies so the the clothes are from a pet friendly home guys yeah i can't help it but anyway so we're gonna start this one out at twelve dollars Petite large is beautiful. It's a cross and barrel zip up. So Mrs. Anonymous is asking Rachel, have you tried the new T-Mobile internet package? I live in the boonies and people like it up here. They won't, they won't give it to me at this address. I'm on a waiting list. Oh. Tried. I tried. I want it. Trust me. So it's Rami nylon wool and acrylic for this sweater. If anybody with the cardinals on it, it's beautiful. Zip up. Petite large. And and is is that necklace? Are you including that necklace? I am. If it's on the hanger, it goes with it. Nice. And this is also like a, it's got a vintage clasp and it's glass. And so it will go with it. Nice. So you get the, the get the necklace with the sweater, guys. And that's your back panel. It's so warm. And I wanted it, but it doesn't fit me. <laughs> And this is vintage pattern, like vintage sweater. This is not picks or, you know. Right, right, right. Mm. 
All right, no interest on the card, no. I, Jay, Jay's actually going to come in at 12. And Mrs. Anonymous says, what is it made of, Rachel? Oh, I just read that. Sorry. Um, let me do it again. Uh, Rami uh, acrylic, nylon, wool, and 8% Angora. So That's it's so made wonderful. of everything. Wow, it's got a little bit of everything. But it's mainly uh, Rami and acrylic, and it has 8% uh, wool, 8% Angora, and 15% nylon. And it's Croft and Barrel. Ah, she's allergic to wool. Oh, okay. Some people are. Some people are good to know. To it. Yeah. yeah, good to know. Right? All right. KK, we're going to count it down to J if no, there's no other interest. Perfect. All right. Sold to Jay for $12. Congratulations, Jay. Thank you, Jay. Thanks so much. All right. I'll show while you get yourself together there and get three more lots together. Awesome. All right, guys. I'm going to switch my camera over. I'll be going back and forth to Bolt tonight. Um, first one is going to be a bid. It's a $10 start. Brian, Mr. Buys a lot's in the chat. Hi, Brian. Welcome. Hi, welcome Brian. In. We just heard that uh, whatnot crashed. Um, not sure what's going on over there tonight, but I'm glad we're over here tonight. All right, so I have four vintage glasses uh, from the Muppets. And it's a $10 start. And this one is Miss Piggy McDonald's. 1981 is the year on it. Here is Kermit the Frog, Fuzzy the Bear, the Great Gonzo, Henson Associates, 1981 McDonald's. This one is Happiness Hotel. And again, Henson Associates, 1981. Got the cool Muppets. These are in really nice condition, guys. Very nice condition. And this one is Kermit the Frog, the Great Muppet Caper, also McDonald's, and 1981. And guys, I will tell you that this is one owner, and the one owner is related to me. <laughs> <laughs> this this was collecting dust at Dad's house. <laughs> So dad sent me back with this. <laughs> Too funny. So probably, I don't know, between my brother and I, 1981, I was in ninth grade, 10th grade. I don't know. And my brother was about six. <laughs> so I'm sure they were more geared towards my brother than me. But whatever. Mom and dad had them in the closet. $10 start for all the glasses for Four of them, if anybody is interested. And if there's no interest, we'll pass on it. Memer says, I'll give you 10 T. Thank you, Memers. All right, and we're not going to hang long, guys. If you guys want it, great. If not, we're going to count it down, and we're going to move to the next one. Thank you for your help, KK. I don't know where Carrie's been. I haven't seen Carrie. I hope she's okay. All 
right. And the Muppets are going to be sold to Memers for $10. Congratulations. All right. Uh, Don, hmm. I don't honestly remember. I think maybe about 12 or 14. I have to look. I don't know off the top of my head. All right, the next set of glasses are actually from 1970. There are four of them, a $10 start on these. And they are these really cute called Love Is, holding the ladder while the... <laughs> Those are cute. Yeah, they're really cute. Look at this. Telling Aww. him his paint job is marvelous when it isn't. And holding the ladder while the he paints the ceiling. That's really cute. All right. So that's one of them. I hear great things happened in 1970. Oh, Osma must have been born that year. <laughs> I was too, Sarah. <laughs> Love is making marriage last 75 years. Telling her she's as lovely as the day you were married. And again, they are 1970. And then this one is Love Is That First Kiss in the Morning. Gee, that could be my parents, my mom with her, her rollers in her hair and dad with his dark hair when he had dark hair. <laughs> Watching the sun sink into the sea. And then the last one is love is telling him how much his golf game has improved. Oh, that's not my father at all. Never pay, played golf in his life. Listening again, how he made the hole in one. So really cute. Who is the maker of them? Syndicate, United Feature Syndicate, UFS. UFS. Can you guys see that or is it? Let me see if I can. Um, United Feature Syndicate Inc. If you guys can see it. Kelly, groovy girl in the chat. Hey, Kelly. All right. So Kelly comes in for 10. And they're cute. They are definitely cute. A cartoonist from the LA Times. So two different designs, two different sayings on each side of the glass. Really cute. And if there's no other interest, we're going to start counting it down to Kelly. His or her name is Kim Kasali. Well, thank you, Asma. Asma always has the info, especially when it comes Funny. to art. Ooh, Mrs. Anonymous. We go in $2 increments, sweetheart, but thank you. Um, just let us know if you want to do 12. Oh, yes, Kelly. You know I do. At least they're not 19 inches. <laughs> thank you, Mrs. Anonymous. All right, Mrs. Anonymous wants to do 12. Thank you, thank you. 14 would be the next bit. Let us know, Cal. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> ha ha. Too funny, too funny. Kim is a she, if it matters. Ah. Kelly comes in for 14. Nineteen seventy, and the artist, according to our resident artist in the chat, is Kim Casali. Casali, Casali. I don't know, something like that. All right, Mrs. Anonymous is going to be out. We're going to sell them to Kelly at fourteen. Okay, Kay, I'll count it down. 
Thank you, KK. Thank you, Mrs. Anonymous, for your bids. And thank you, Kelly, for your win. All right, the last one I'm going to do is a buy it now. I'm going to do this uh, for $10 if anybody wants it. $10 plate. Plate, plate, plate. I'm going to give KK a minute. I don't want to rush her. Um, all right. So this one is made in Italy. It's called Meridian Ceramiche. C-E-R-A-M-I-C-H-E. -E, made in Italy. And it's this beautiful pattern. Um, this is a really, really nice pattern on this oval kind of deep dish um, plate. I'll move the camera a little bit closer so you guys can see it. $10 on a buy it now for the very pretty uh, Italy plate. And I'll show you the back one more time. <laughs> it's the rolling plate. <laughs> no, it was the stupid backboard fell off. And oh. the back even has a little bit of a design. So you can see it when it's on the table. And really pretty. Um, and I think, I'm pretty sure this came from the um, estate. Donna and I did last year. All right. And if there's no interest, we'll pass on it. And if anybody changes their mind, that's a $10 buy it now. Save the pieces, as my granny said. For artwork, right? Um, this is what... That's what I'm telling you about all the stuff that I'm finding out in my, you know, yard. That the, 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 did you save it because people want it? Right, right. But you know, they want this stuff. Yeah, Rachel is just finding some home runs that maybe she's going to bring at some point. Never know. Never oh, know. just being funny when someone has butterfingers. Oh, that's a story of my life, Ozma. You know what I did today? I actually was in my closet. Um, in the spare bedroom where I have a lot of my Christmas stuff and I was moving some uh, heavier shirts that I put in there because it's getting a little cool here in South Carolina. You know, it's dipping in the 60s and the 50s. So I'm pulling out my longest sleeve shirts and one of my Lennox vases just took a tumble. I was so mad. Was oh, my gosh. Floor. No. Yeah. Ugh. No but good. I'm a big Butterfingers person. <laughs> All right. I want to start this at $20 and don't, don't, don't cross me. I, I didn't know when I bought it, but it is brand new, but it's not legit. This one is not authenticate. This one is not because there's no tag inside. Everything outside looks completely authentic, but if there's nothing inside. It, the, the fabric looks good. Everything looks, it like feels good, but there's no tag inside here. Okay. So it says it's made in Bangladesh. It's got all the markings on the everywhere else. It's never been worn. This is why I'm starting at 20 because I can't, there's no way this could be real. Okay. So it is a fanny pack and it will fit up to a 38 inch and just call it an inspired because it cannot, you know, there's no way that I can authenticate it because it's missing the inside tag. There's nothing in here to prove or disprove. Okay, now this feels really soft. It's got that, like, soft, like, suede kind of feel to it, not like that cheap, like, plasticky whatever. So uh, the plastic is still on the zippers. This belt has not been worn. So. She's from Maine, Mrs. Anonymous. God, this so is that, good, though. But everything else, like, looks really good. That's what I said. I was like, oh, I got fooled. But 
look at I mean it doesn't look at all bad. So All right, KK's gonna take a shot. She likes her purses. I know, it's marked on the bill buckle. So, that's the only reason that I'm starting it so low because I know I can't authenticate it. I know this one is just what it is. It's beautiful though. I'm not gonna lie. It feels so good. It feels quality. It looks quality. The inside was like if it was fake, it would it would also be that like weird lining, you know? It's not. It's really good. All right. So KK, you get to call it down if no one else is gonna bid on it. Oh, she can't call it down. You have to call it down. T has to call it. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll call it down. <laughs> My bad. Breaking the rules already. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we, we. I see. She she will. I mean, I, I let her and Carrie. Even when Carrie's bidding, I just, it's fine. If there's nobody else bidding against her. It's fine. So funny. But this, this next bag is super real, super authenticated. Beautiful. There's nothing wrong with it. It's like brand new and it's butter. I don't think anyone's ever worn it or used it. But. Oh, thank I you, Robin. Oh, I forgot Robin. See, thank you, Robin. Robin. Robin will help. Thank you, Robin. Awesome. Awesome. Everybody's always so good. They Awesome. Then the next item that's cool, I'll bring. All right, so this is Dooney and Burke, you guys. This is legit. It's real. There's this tiny, I'm going to start it at 50, though. There's a tiny, a tiny little right there. Where's my finger? That's it. There's nothing else. There's nothing, no marks, nothing. It's not even been used. There's no, nothing inside. Brand new one. Here's your straps. In immaculate condition. It's beautiful. So it's a larger tote. All leather. You see all this leather and canvas. It's immaculate. There's no dirt on it. Nothing. Nothing. KK comes in for 50. Girl, we shopping for yourself. Is this your Christmas? <laughs> she loves her purses. Oh my goodness. And this is so legit and so beautiful and it's like worth every penny. Yes, yeah, a nice big tote, guys. Nice size. I could fit puppy in there and all uh, my phone and everything else I need. Linda's treasures. Don't tell. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's why 20 people left. <laughs> really? Really, Paul? Jeez. Don't scare my people out of the chat. Jeez. <laughs> Gosh. <sighs> oh. Oh, all right. Well, y'all call it down. Call her down. KK's like on that, uh, getting like the love tonight. Let me tell you. The legit love is going to KK. All right. Awesome. Fucking dolls. Oh. 
Auf dem Platz. You don't give them away. You got, how are you going to give a $50 purse away, girlfriend? That's really like a $200 purse. But right. I'm, I mean, just saying. Just saying. Just saying. Okay. So I don't know. Let's see. This is Marvel. This is Marvel. This is a Funko Pop enamel pin. Let me get it up there without that light. Darn it. Darn it. I have to turn this. Pin? Yeah, I got to turn that light off so I can try I to get this light. Made pins. Yeah, it's a large enamel pin. And this I'm is ven up. Venomized Thor. I wish I could just get it right there so you guys could see him. He's so cool. Look. And it's large. It's like four and a half inches, maybe five inches. Oh, sorry. So we're going to start him at six. He's, he's definitely fun. Darn it. I wish this glare. I hate the glare. I hate the glare. Sorry. There we go. So he was one of these four. We're starting an auction at six on this, guys. It's ridiculous. Sorry. And he's like legit, like. I don't know. And it comes with a stand. So it's not just a pin, but you, it is a pin, but he comes with a stand to display him. So he's like, yeah, it's like four and a half inches. Get that glare out of there. He's super cool. Sorry. Oh, man. The troubles I'm having today with the glare. KK says, Somebody turn can... down your computer light. It's not my computer. It's a tablet, though, but it's still not working. I did that. Funko Pop, Venomized Thor. Gosh, I thought some guy would want to collect him. He's so cool. Huh. Go put him back in the bucket. <laughs> All right, guys. We're going to pass on it. Yep. It's a pass. That was three. All right. All right, guys. One dollar. Oh, my bid. gosh. One dollar to start on the bidding. Right. Look at the pattern on that. One dollar to start on the bidding. Now, guys, 80 what? It says on the box. I don't know that there are full 80 in here. The box is pretty full. The top is actually sealed, but the bottom is open. So, oh, the stupid <coughs> bath thing. Oh, my. <laughs> right. I'm not counting out 80 cups, guys. I mean... There might be a couple missing, but they are vintage Dixie oh my cups from the 70s, okay? Look at them. They're highly collectible. Yeah, they're highly collectible. Nine ounce, 1977 is, is the thing, and there is up to potentially 80 in here i'm not going to count them guys it's box is almost full you know it's an economy refill um pack those are amazing vintage cups dixie i know someone who filled his trunk up with those I wish my father had more. <laughs> Those are amazing. Because I think I might have gotten these from him too. I don't even know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure where these came from, honestly. I, I'm, I'm thinking that's maybe where they came from, but I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> I 
I can't believe they held up so well. It was all that wax on them, I'm sure, but right. the picture is so bright, the color. The colors are awesome. Right? All right. Vintage memories in at 10. I'm sorry, but a movie set would pay a lot of money for these right now. I know, right? You always forget that, too. I always forget, you know, that movies, you know, buy stuff yeah. like this for props and things. My mom was wondering why I was freaking out about a vintage Rubbermaid laundry basket of hers. Really? Huh. Okay. All right. Memers, let us know. Kelly is out. All right, Memers is out. They are groovy, Kelly. <laughs> yeah, they are groovy, Kelly. Um, we used to use them to start for plants, right? <laughs> oh, great idea. Oh, my gosh. All right, Dixie Cups. Let's sell them to Vintage Memories. Love it. There's no other interest. Broccoli Rob, are you still watching? He's probably not still watching. <laughs> because he's going to be like, you really sold these? I'm going to be like, yeah, I sold them. I oh, love it. <laughs> you got it, Robin. Thank you, sweetheart. <laughs> All right, Never I know, have, right? I have another vintage um, set here. Um, I don't Talk know too much. I don't know too much about it. It's um, United Plastic Company, Fitchburg, Massachusetts, USA, and it's got the lunch plates. It's also got the original bag. Now, I don't know if this silverware came with it or if this silverware, oh, God, are we blurry? Sorry. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I don't know again if the silverware came with it or it's just silverware because this one's like a um I don't know it's got it's got a few pieces of weird silver in here but you've got this color and then you've got this color and that and here is more of the silverware and again I'm not sure let's see I, I don't know the, the sterilite I think is is what it says on the on the on the silverware so let's see sterilite yeah Fitzburg mass I guess it came with the set um, but there is an issue I have the handle but the handle off of this one is broken. So just take note of that. And here is the original Sterlite TV picnic lunch set bag oh, that it came gosh. in. All That's right. like from the 50s. Look at that. Uh, again, let's, photo. let's just start this at a dollar and see who wants it. It's so cool. That's Love so it. Cool. Um, I will throw the handle in the lot if you guys want to fix it. You know, maybe it's just a nice piece. Oh, I just noticed, too. It looks like the plate. Yeah, the plate is damaged, too. All right. Well, if anybody wants it for a conversation piece to have, you know, on their... Um, on their Does the cup fit in the middle? Whatever. Yeah, the cup goes in the middle. I love that. See, why did they stop doing that? They made things so complicated. You drop your dish, you know, because you can't right. hold your cup and your, you know? Right. They just made things so complicated. That was smart. Hi, Ella, honey. Ella, I think Vintage Memories got in first. Guys, when we're on to 10, I don't care if you want to go to $1 increments. I'm fine with that. 
I'm fine with until we get to 10, doing a dollar, it's fine. You know, there's so many things they just didn't need to change. <laughs> Right. <laughs> Look, I got plenty of room for my side dishes and my other side dishes and whatever else and my drink now. Right. Come on. <laughs> Suck sometimes. I know. Oh, Lord. All right, vintage comes in at four. Thank you guys. Appreciate you. It's just a cute little uh, timeless um, memory, I guess, right? Yeah, I love it. These are great when you have older adults. True that, KK. That's true too, right? All right, Ella's in for 10. All right, and we're going to sell it sell it to Ella. Thank you, Ella. We get you invoiced at some point tomorrow too i know you're you're at uh your um <clears throat> what do you call it all right i am going to let's see what do we got we got one two three of these guys uh one two three uh the nice pretty vintage wheat and grape pattern on the glasses one two and three of them no chips no cracks no crazings um a little bit of dirt and dust but you guys know that's always free and um how about how about ten dollars for the three of those i think that's a good price i think you probably could get that for each glass if not more right or because someone has three and they're looking for three more or they or broke. you sell one at a time you know whatever right. it's you know it's right. however you want to do it yeah <clears throat> yeah i don't have four i only have three but we'll do it on and buy it now ten dollars if somebody wants it With the uh, how is my picture showing? Is it showing okay? Well, I can see some of the pattern, but my eyes aren't as good as others. Okay, but yeah, I think I like it's hard with the white background. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I like the sturdiness of them and how like they're shaped. They're different than others. Let me see. Yeah. Well, these these are these are from the seventies. I'm just gonna yeah. see. Oh, lovely! Yeah, the darker backgrounds. Yeah, they're nice. Them. 
yeah, their stems are sturdy. They're nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. If there's no interest, that's fine. We can pass on them. No worries. I'll list them. I love it. <laughs> I hate to list them, but I will. Because I know what they go for. All right. Going back to Rachel. Going All back right. to Kelly. All right, God. <laughs> Thank you, honey. Oh. All right, let's let's give you some. Oh, I hooked myself too. Oh, sitting on the sweaters here. Sorry. All right, I got this uh, sweatshirt. It is a I don't know. It says T stars size large. I'm gonna just start it at. Uh, let's start it at eight. That's what it says. It's Somebody insane. must know because I don't know about it. And I don't know T stars, but it does uh, have its tags. And somebody must know. And it's a hoodie. Must be something, right? It's in really good condition, other than a couple of uh, my. Uh, baby uh white hairs on there which i'll roll off there's nothing else it's excellent condition it's a large it's a large But this would fit me, and I wear extra large, so. You know, but that's because sweatshirts are kind of, you know, big. So there's that. I'm throwing things now. Darn it. Okay, KK, no problem. Thank you, Vintage Memories. This is a brand new with tag. It is meant to look vintage. It is a size medium. Um, it's a pit to pit of 21 and it's 29 long. So it's meant to look like this. It's so beautiful. Oh, that is nice. It's a brand that was meant to look vintage. It's brand new. It's called uh, Chaser. I would start this one right here at 15 if anybody's interested. That's oh, a nice gift, guys. That's a really yep, nice Yeah, brand gift. new with tags. That's what the bottom looks like. It's got these leather buttons. You know, actually, they're not leather. They look like leather, but they're not. That's what the back looks like. It's a really nice sweater. So pit to pit of 21, if that helps you guys with sizing. Even though it says medium. Like I said, it's brand new with tags. Your sleeve. And it's kind of heavy, so I don't want to hold it up. <laughs> yeah. All right, Jay yeah. likes it for 15. Thank you, Jay. It's an awesome sweater. It's a great gift. If there's no other interest, just call it down to Jay. Thank you so much, Jay.
It's beautiful. You're going to love it. All right. We're going to sell it to Jay. All right. I have. Oh, sorry. Okay. I have four bags available. And these no, have. The auction. No, what? You're Did I yawn? Auction. Did I yawn? <laughs> it's involuntary. <laughs> <laughs> It's involuntary. I didn't mean to. All right. These are old stock, new jewelry. Um, this is a vintage. Uh, they are the brand Ion Best uh, and some other brands in here. There are 10 pieces. Uh, are, they could be a mix of sets of earrings and pendants or just, you know, a bunch of different things. So each bag I'm asking $20 for. And they are, there are sets in here of pendants, earrings, bracelets, uh, just to give you an idea. They could be like, this is a pendant and a brooch, but there's Buy 10 pieces. Now, $20 a bag, guys. Buy it now. Just buy it now. There's 10 sets, 10 pieces, or whatever you want to say, but it's mystery bags. You buy it now, you're going to get. They're all new on, on the card. They are, at, you can list them, sell them, gift them, whatever you want to do. Some of them already had pricings on them, so they, you know, you can see. But they are, they are old, old stock. How do you say that? New old stock. Yeah, new old stock. Yes. Vintage. Vintage new old stock. Exactly. All the earrings are pierced, though. So. You'll have sets, earrings, nah, bracelets, everything in there. If anybody's interested, blah. Anybody? Anybody? A mystery bag. There's definitely 10 pieces or more in there of it. Of it. I don't even know how to explain it. Am I not explaining it right? Do you want to see a bag? An idea? An idea. They're all on card. Look at old school new stuff pendants earrings this is what i mean about it's a brooch they're all going to be different but you're going to get brooch necklace earrings you're going to get sets like that so 10 different cards in a bag for 20 bucks does that make sense yep Okay. Buy it now, guys. No bidding on this. Just buy it if you want it. Okay. Just put bag in the chat and that. Okay. These are going to be buying now $4. You're going to choose and you're going to... I don't know. <laughs> I thought for sure they would want mystery bags of jewelry. Whoop. Okay. Um, Captain America. All these are brand new with their tags. They're all four dollars. I got Mickey. Each, buy it now, guys. Four dollars each. Buy it now. Mickey Mini. These are great for stocking stuffers. This is what they are. They are called Tum Tums by Disney. So Captain America, Mickey, Minnie. I have two uh, Dumbos. A Pluto and a Stitch. All brand new with tags. Yeah, those things. Tum Tums. Tim Tim's. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 
and you have to take them because they're just the size that my little my my little puppy likes and and i have to hide them from him oh because he gets into them yeah, he saw the box while I was unboxing, and he was like, "And then, no, 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 those don't belong to you." <laughs> so there you go, all brand new Ricard. Great little stocking stuffers. I guess they collect them. These are collectibles. Don't know much about them, but. At least somebody knows the real name of them. And that's it. That's my face. All right. No interest, guys. We'll pass on it. If you guys um, are watching it later, let us know. If you let think us know. You it, we'll refresh at the end. All right, guys. I'm going to do this on and buy it now. New old stock, 25 hanging folders, amp pad is the name, um, $12, sorry KK, $12, um, new old stock made in the USA, amp pad, you've got your original uh, label holders and everything here, buy it now, $12. <laughs> on those. If anybody wants those, it's about half the price of probably what they get for them today. And though these are vintage. Ampad hanging folders, $12. I know, Mrs. Anonymous. I know. I know what they go for. All right. We'll pass on it for now. We'll bring it back at the end. If anybody wants to revisit this stuff, we'll revisit it at the end. All right. I mentioned to you guys that I have a TCL tablet here. Um it is new in box. However, I can't get it in the box because there's a case with it. Um, so it's in a case. It's called SPEC. S-P-E-C. Uh, let's bid on this because I have no idea and I'd like to start it at 25. Um, it, it's never been turned on. It's uh, SPEC. S-P-E-C, T-C-L, tab. It does have a case, a nice case on it. Um, eight inches on the screen, and you've got your original, everything's in there. Is it an Android tablet? Yes, it is not a, uh, it's not an Apple product, no. It's, um, it's definitely not an Apple product. It's Android, and it looks like it has the little memory card, um, you know, uh, push thing or whatever. But you got your uh, your wire and your charger and your reference guide in there. And the only reason I can't get it back in the box is because it has the case. So somebody must have purchased the case as well. And... Um, So I'll, I'll, I'll pack it, but I'll send the box probably, you know, in, I'll have Robbie just send the box underneath or over the tablet just because of um, the fact that you have, you get the case with it as well. You got a camera on this. It's, it's brand new, never used TCL tab. And KK, you like it, huh, honey? That's a great deal if KK gets it. I'm sure these, I don't even know what, I haven't bought a tablet probably two or three Christmases ago for Rob. But um, I know what they usually cost. T 
TCL tablet. Brand new. All right, let's vintage memories. Let's count it down to KK if there's no other interest. I'm Android illiterate. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Usually most people are iPhone. I am Apple illiterate, even though I have an iPhone. I feel like I'm still challenged with the iPhone. Oh, Jay comes in. KK's back in. Thank you, guys. Jay's in again. KK's in at 40. And Jay's going to be out. We're going to count it down to KK for 40. Thank you for your bids, guys. Appreciate it. All right, sold to KK for 40. Congratulations, honey. All right, this is um, oh, I thought I had no. All right, let me let me change it up a minute. I thought I had something else here, but I don't. All right, I'm going to put myself on the screen, guys, and um, just tell you what I have. I have a couple of pieces of clothing here I'm going to do. Um, the first one is this really cute, it's like a Mickey Mouse Disney shirt. I don't know if it's Disney. It's not branded Disney. It's, it's actually on the Bella and Canvas label. Bella and Canvas is a pretty good name. This is a size medium, and it's like a uh, hidden Mickey Uh, KK is aggressive. I don't want to mess with her again. Jay, that's because she buys stuff for personal use. So it's kind of hard when she wants something, she wants it. <laughs> She's not looking to resell. <laughs> All right. $5. Sorry, KK. $5. I, I always promise KK I'm going to, I'm going to put the thing very soft. It feels like new old stock. Um, it, Bell and Canvas is a nice feel um on this mickey five dollars kk i'm sorry uh not vintage or anything double stitch bella and canvas label for the mickey five dollars if anybody wants it feels really nice nice with the holiday coming up if anybody wants it All right, no interest. That's all right. All right, here we go, Rachel. We'll come. Mrs. Anonymous, you want it, sweetheart? All right, you got it, hon. All right, five dollars to Mrs. Anonymous. And we're going back to Rachel. And I'll have some more clothes coming up, guys. I have some more pieces here. Okay, I don't know what you guys want, but I have a really big lot. I'm going to show you a brand new clothes with a tag on it, size small to medium, and see if you like that in a minute. But I'm going to show you something that I made. Let's see if you like it. I'm going to give you a choice. I know it's a little bit, but these are 100% real. I made these, handmade these myself. And I'm asking 35 per set. So this is it's something new choice, that I said. Choice. Yep. Choice per set. I have made these and I am starting to do this. Um, and they're going to be different stones and different everything. These are vintage glass, pearl, and onyx, and vintage onyx and coral. And you get earrings and a necklace. So here we go. You ready? I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> so this is stunning. Vintage glass pearl. There's your class. Okay. 
Um, it's a hook. Sorry. It's just not on there, right? It's just my fault. But there's your hook. This is black onyx, vintage glass pearls, and then you have a set of earrings to go with it. Nice. Guys, it's $35 to start on a bid, and you're going to have a choice between that set or this set. Black onyx. This has a magnetic closer and coral. And then you'll get another set of earrings with it. I think it's stunning. General, uh, gen, general, genuine coral, guys. Onyx yep. and pearl. And it's all vintage stuff that I've, I've used to make it with. So it's beautiful, I think. But you be the judge. I'm so happy with myself. <laughs> no, great job. Awesome. So you get to set. It's just something I'm doing for the holidays. I'm going to make more. I have different types of stones. Like I have this that I made, but I don't have any earrings to go with it yet. But it's stunning. Nice. So, Where are, you se are you selling these locally or? Uh, I haven't decided yet. This oh, is okay. just, yep. So, you know, I think when you get into something you really enjoy and you make a, you know, and I have like different stones, different pearls, and I'm using a lot of vintage stuff that people just want to, you know, discard. And I think that they're just more quality. Oh, yeah. So, okay, so that is my, I have to show off for a minute. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, so I'll be making more with different stones, but look at that cat. Nice. Right. Beautiful. What's okay. the bottom stone on that one? That's a uh, tiger eye. Oh, oh, yeah, now I see it. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, oh beautiful. And then I, I did make this one for men because, you know, I can't just make for women. So this is a picture of Jasper here. So. But anyway, I did go. Let's show you some goodies. Okay, so I'm going to do this lot of uh, 10 brand new pieces of clothing with tag. They were all a Nordstrom brand. It's the same brand as that sweater. And um, I mean, it started at $50. Okay. All right. So that's right. $5 a piece, guys. 10 pieces. This is ridiculous. Okay. So they're all brand new with tag. So I think this one is so funny, right? Mother Hustler. <laughs> nice. <laughs> right. We all need that one. So there's one sleepless like this. But they're all brand new with tag. All the rest of them are going to be hefty ones. You know, very sturdy, resellable. Go a little slower because your camera's a little um, pixelated. Like, okay. Jennifer! Oh, love. I send you love and hugs, my love. So this is the brand that they made the material to look vintage. They cut out. It was, you know, definitely. They're all medium or small. They're oversized. The material is meant to look vintage. This has all cut out on, you know, on the sleeves. Yeah, this, that's all. Cool. There's, there's a certain style with that sleeve, right? I forget what it's called. Yeah, it's all braided on the sleeve. Yeah, braided, okay, yeah. This is so fun <laughs> and so soft. And I just want to live in this one, but it's just definitely not big enough for me. But it is the softest thing I've ever touched. Oh, thank Jennifer. Jennifer, really, honey, um, I wish I could do more. I wish we could all do more. Just know that we love you. Hugs and prayers. Poor baby. So they're all tagged. They're great for resale. Um, I don't know if somebody has like a boutique or they're great at listing, but I have a ton of clothes listed and this is just a portion of them. So
So all these sizing are small mediums. Actually, I think most of them are mediums at this point, but I'll just double check. Yeah, I think these are all mediums. This, this are all mediums. This lot is mediums. So there's 10 of them. That one is so pretty. Oh my gosh, it's so soft. I mean, I swear you could just cuddle into it. I was there in the background. I just didn't know what to say. It's so hard. How do you say? It? I don't know. It's heartbreaking. Yeah, these are all mediums, I think, except for this one. I think this is the small. Yeah, so this one here is the small. Periwinkle. And the rest are mediums. So nine medium and one small $50 start for 10 pieces, guys. Brand new with tag, a Nordstrom brand. They're still a brand. It's not like they've run away or anything. I just happened to get I think I ended up with 50 pieces somehow oh gosh I know I know oh hmm. any interest at all you guys Okay, I thought that was a bargain. <laughs> Not a bargain, huh? All right. So I have this other vintage sweater. Oh, have this other vintage sweater. So somebody needs to be very, uh, what do you call it? Um, like you know, handy with their sewing. Um, but here's the thing. This sweater is amazing. It is a LL bean, right? Um, I'm going to start this at $10 because it just needs one thing. I think it needs more than that. It is missing one button, right? And the button that is missing is down here. So I would just take one button and move it, but, or they can find the button somewhere, but it has like one little stain right here. And I'm not sure how to address it because I don't want to put this in my washing machine. But look at this sweater. Well, and it's, it's like a purple snowflake almost, right? Yeah, and it's a vintage LL Bean. And it's not worth getting rid of because it's missing a button. It has a small stain. It's just not. It's just, it's it's beautiful and it doesn't fit me or I would have kept Mrs. that too. Anonymous is asking about the material. All right, let me look at that, my dear. Oh, Jay is, Jay is lagging. Oh, Jay's Jay, lagging? Jay, Jay was bidding on the clothes, I think. Oh, Jay. Okay, Jay. KK, just sell it to Jay. It's fine. Just, just, just write close sold to Jay for fifty. It's fine. Oh, but I let me see here. La, 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 la. Delicate cycle. I don't think this is well, but let me see if I can read it. This is definitely vintage. Oh. Darn it. Can we find the material on the bottom of the um, left hand side, usually um, towards the bottom of the sweater? The thing is, I don't think I could read that myself, honestly. Oh, okay. I know she's probably looking to make sure it's not wool. No, I definitely do understand that. Let me see if there's another tag because. And they were asking about the size. I don't know if you told us what size it was. Yeah, the size was a women's extra large. Extra large. Clear water. 100% cotton, my dear. 100% cotton. 
That's why it's so it feels so good. Okay, so Jay's got the clothing lot, right? Right, and then I think he may have been 10 on this as well. I'm a little confused, Jay. Okay. <laughs> you probably okay. not as much as Jay is. <laughs> okay, so 100% cotton is beautiful. That's why. So, yeah, Miss Anonymous. Oh, extra large, too big. Okay. Okay. Yes, Jay, uh, the sweater is extra large. And it's an L.L. Bean, and I just feel like there has to be a way to salvage this with one button and that little stain. I just don't, I just don't know because, and just with the stain, like, I, I just can't right now. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, so it's Jay in on that sweater, too? Yes. Oh, so it's too big for mom. Okay. Oh, does so he want to retract it? For my mom. All right. So okay, no problem. All right, that's all right. KK, no problem. Gonna, no worries. Oh no! Are you kidding, Miss Anonymous? That's terrible. Terrible. Okay. All right. All right. Oh, I froze. Okay. All right, we're good. That was three. Okay. All right, no, no worries. worries, Jay. All right, we got you, Jay. Jay says I retract. It's okay. No honey. problem. No, no worries. That was all bad. We forgot to mention the size first. All right. I have a couple of pieces of clothing here as well, guys. This is like a um, I don't know, what do they call these? Like skorts? Like it's like a skirt, but then it separates. Oh, culottes. Cool 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 yes. Yeah, yeah, I love it. It, and these are a Briggs, New York, and they are a 1X. Oh, I love it. It's really cute. Um, does have a stretch band. And um, I'll do five on a buy it now if somebody wants it. Um, it's Briggs, 1XL, culottes. Yes, culottes. <laughs> culottes. Sport, culottes, I don't know. One XL on the Briggs label. 92% nylon, 8% spandex, made in the USA. Five dollars if anybody wants. Kathy, you want it, honey? All right, five to clear water. Yeah, okay, Kathy. Oh, there we go. All right. All right. This I think is an extra large. It's a one X. It's tech gear. One X on the tech gear. It's like um, a cow oh, with a warm neck, long sleeves, warm. <laughs> lined and it's got like almost like a sweatshirty type of waist. I'll do five on this too if anybody wants. So Rachel. What this is so Rachel? Yeah, that's a the a, a warm stuff I need. Oh. <laughs> Same Rachel size. Rachel, do you want it? Yeah, you know. I gotta let see if anybody bidding on it. <laughs> well, I'm just doing it as a buy it now. I'm not bidding on it. Oh, okay. Five dollars, Rachel. I bid. <laughs> Five dollars. Hold on. All right. Bye. All I right, bid. Rachel wants, it. Rachel wants it. I want it. Which which means I have to also send Rachel this one. Oh shoot, Rachel, five dollars. I want <laughs> that one too. Same size. Same one. Mine. It's the same one. One's in purple and one's in one's in Cute. purple. One's in mine. Right. Sold. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Uh, right, Perry Winkle, Jerry, Sharon, Karen, Sharon is Karen. Uh, yeah, now right? I can make sure you get your warmers too, right? <laughs> <laughs> there is an excuse now. <laughs> All right, men's Izod. Men's mm. Izod. Uh, That's a pretty eight, color. Eight dollars on this one. Let's do eight dollars on this one. It's a two uh, XL. 2XL, IZOD is the name, $8 is the game, buy it now, long sleeve, um, what else can I tell you, pocket, clean, no tags, but I feel like it, it may have never been worn. $8, if anybody wants. On the Izod men's shirt. All right, let me know if you guys change your mind. They got one more piece of clothes here, and then we'll go back to Rachel. Dress. Um, I'll do where to wear dresses. I'll do seven on the dress. It's an L extra large and it's very stretchy and so cute it's kind of got this i don't know chiffon -y, like flowy bottom with a lining obviously underneath but it does flow at the bottom seven dollars on the dress let's talk I about it it's a handkerchief bottom handkerchief. with an elastic waist Rob's probably yelling at me because he's the clothes guy I actually bought this for myself, and I just didn't like the way it looked on me personally. It just wasn't my cup of tea. So, <laughs> there's no tags, but I didn't wear it either. I just tried it on, and I'm there. With a nice V-neck. Look at that. It's a great dress, except that this I have nowhere to wear a dress. It just wasn't tea. It just wasn't tea. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No interest. All right. It's a great dress. All right. All right. No, it's a little no. flirty. It's cute, you know. All right, let's go back to Rachel. <laughs> I should just give you a list of stuff I need: long socks. You know, I here I am wearing shirt, long sleeve shirt, and a sweater. You know, that's how it is. You know, right. I, I need to give you a long list. All right, let's do purses again, peeps. How about that? Look, this is so vintage, but it's like brand new okay and it's an expensive one are you ready it's so vintage and it's brand new look it, it even comes with your mirror okay all right this is a uh i don't know if i can say tigni you guys say it yeah tigni no you got it right tigni yeah that one but look okay so we all need our pockets, right? All right, we're gonna start this one out at, are you ready? $10. Look at this. It's so funny. Pockets, pockets. Then we got pockets, pockets. But if you thought that was enough pockets, ready? I just died when I opened this one up. Are you ready? Look at this. Wow. <laughs> and it's brand freaking new in here. It's brand new. Look, it comes with your little la mm -hmm, keychain with you put your little cards in there. Is Look it at leather? This. It looks leather. Yes. It? Yes. Let's go, people. I want to see everybody go crazy in there. Look at this. I mean, I thought I was going to bring you a deal here. How many things can you actually put in this purse? I just don't even understand. How many credit cards does oh one person God. I think yeah. that person has more credit cards than anybody. <laughs> well, because this purse is probably a two hundred dollar purse. I mean, I'm just telling you. I just look. I mean, I just don't understand. How many? How much can you fit in there? Legit. And then right. you have your your coin and your mirror. Okay. And there's nothing inside here. This is the cleanest purse I've ever seen. If it was ever used, ever. Yeah. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, this is in impeccable condition. I swear, if you're going to resell it, you're going to make a lot of money. But this is impeccable. Oh, 
I don't think it was ever used. Now, is, I was it, like, is it gray or is it black? So it's that um, gunmetal, like um, okay. like bronzy color, like more of a bronzy. Okay, just like, sometimes yeah. with the camera, it's hard to, to really yeah. pick the color up. And I'm like a bronzy gunmetal. Look at the zippers go up and down. Yeah. Come on. I expected to see more than $10. What's up here? This is like the holy grail of purses for women. I'm not kidding you. Look, I mean, even though my phone is like the biggest phone ever, right? Look, bye. Can't see it now, can you? Mm -hmm. Serious. I don't know. I was having fun with this. <sighs> okay. I'm giving it away. Giving it away. I know. Right. Right. It's the bottomless purse. All right. I'm giving it away to Kathy, I guess. Going to Kathy. All right. Robin, are you still here, sweetheart? Is Robin still in the chat? So sad. I mean, I'm happy for KK, but I'm sad that nobody thought it was as fabulous as I did. Well, KK did. <laughs> <laughs> Can you just count All it right. down for, for KK vintage? <coughs> Thank you. Thank you. All right. Now, this is super vintage, not super vintage. This is this is vintage, but it needs a good cleanup. And I don't know how to clean up purses either. So it's a legit coach, right? Legit. Okay. It's got a little bit of wear on the corner there. See it? Um, other than that, it's got like its own little bit of whatever wear, but I it needs to be cleaned. I don't know how to clean it. So, anyways, it's legit. It's a real coat. Fifteen bucks. Buy it now. Fifteen dollars needs a cleaning, guys. On the coat. That's it. Needs a cleaning. It's legit. It's real. Oh, the buy it now. Just needs you to clean her up. She's just got her normal like wear for her age right up in there. So I don't know. I guess that's where you put it on your. I don't know. Yeah. You know. But it's. Are you buying it or are you bidding on it? Or are you putting it in the chat? No, she's putting it in the chat. I'm like, she's buying another purse? She's really addicted, right? <laughs> she's killing me tonight. She's like, ah, mine. Mine. Let me just check this. I just don't understand. You got me sitting off. Oh. I don't know what's going on with this picture on my camera here. It's a little like weird, but that's okay. All right. Anybody want it? All right. Anybody? No, no interest. And then make me an offer. You can always make me an offer. All right. Oh. Like I said, it needs a little work, but it's still a coach. Right? Yeah, 100%. All right, I got two extra large men's sweaters. I'm going to sell them together. One is, oh, no, my bad. One's an extra, extra large. So, all right. Well, I'm going to sell them together. No? Yeah. No. Yeah, sell yeah? them together. It's fine. All right, one's an extra, extra large chaps. And I don't know what color it's coming through on you, but this is really a pumpkin orange. It is not coral. It's a beautiful orange, fall orange chaps. Excellent, excellent condition. Nothing wrong with it. No stains. It almost looks like it's just brand new and no one's ever worn it. But the color is so beautiful. What does it look like on you? Pumpkin orange? Um. Yeah, it's it. It's no, it's it's it looks salmony to me on the screen. Yeah, no, it's definitely a pumpkin orange. I don't know why, 
like the lighting. Let's see if that changes it. No, that actually makes it look pink now. Yeah, okay. So it's definitely pumpkin orange for everybody that wants to know. And then this is a vintage uh, John Ashford made in Italy. Italy. Um, it's acrylic and wool, extra large men's. And it is got some patterning in there. And it's vintage. There's your vintage tag. And it is maroon and blue and some green. So both, oh, sorry, KK smacked me again. So we'll start them at 10 for the both. Or KK, not bad. <laughs> she yells at me all the time. <laughs> Two men's yeah. sweaters, an extra large, and a 2XL, $10 start. One vintage, one new. Beautiful. Both the good name brands. Great for reseller, great for you. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you want. Oh, my God. KK's going to be like, I'm going to punch you. <laughs> She's like, Rachel, you know the rules. Yeah, I think they're beautiful. I don't know what's up with the, it's like a filter on the camera today. And I can't figure out how to get it off. If, if somebody knows how to get it off, tell me I'm on the tablet. And it seems like it just like put a filter on that I didn't ask for it. I don't know where the filter is though to get it off. I just can't figure it out. I can't figure it out. I'm trying so hard to get it off, but I can't. So. There's your shirts. I mean, sweaters. Any interest? Any interest? Ugh, I can't win today. I don't know what's going on here. Of course, my laptop was so much better to view off of, but. <laughs> Smart Alec. <laughs> KK. KK being a smarty pants. Uh -huh, uh -huh. All right. I, I'm going to put, I have to run downstairs for a minute. So I'll be right back. Don't sell any uh, like long socks. All right. But I'm going to sell some socks. Oh, but that was a baby socks. I'll be right back. <laughs> All right. I have all boys in my life, guys. I have no reason for girls. And I've got one, two, three, six, twelve in a package. And I've got one, two, and three packages of girl socks. So you'll get uh three, six, nine, twelve, thirty-six pairs of girls socks. $15, buy it now, whoever wants them. $15, buy it now. 36 pairs of girls' socks. Chumbug. All right, Chumbug. Hi, Jackie. How are you, sweetheart? All right. Chumbug wants them. All right. Um, oh, one more time on this plate. Let me just show you this plate so I can get this out of the way. Um, Meridian, made in Italy. How about, oh, Mrs. Anonymous, I'm sorry. They're gone. They're gone. They were, they were little girls, two to four. Um, how about $8 on this? We'll drop the price. I had it at 10 eight dollars on the made in italy vintage new york thrift store finds <laughs> eight dollars eight dollars eight dollars on the plate anybody 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 all right 
All right, and let me let me just redo this one too because I'm trying to clear my trying to clear my desk, guys. I'm trying to get the stuff off my desk. The 25 amp pad hanging folders. I'll I'll drop this to ten dollars, guys. I'll drop this to ten dollars if anybody wants twenty five hanging vintage memories. You want the plate for eight? All right, you got it. And I'll drop this to ten on the hanging folders, guys. I know what these sell for. Like it's like almost three times the amount. <laughs> All right, the plate's gonna go to vintage memories for eight. What'd you do? You gave away the store when I left. Well, I just dropped I just dropped the, the price of the plate. <laughs> and now I dropped the price of the folders. Because listen, I'm in I'm 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 here to sell She's on discount things. mode now. Look at her. I'm here to sell things. I have Good, to me too. Them. That's why I said make an offer. I let's go, let's go. If it's too high, high, let me know. All right. Folders, no, no. All right, so we did the socks, the plate, and nobody still wants the folders. I can't go any lower than that, guys. I'll keep them. I'll, 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 <clears throat> I'll put them out on my, um, on my parking lot sale. Somebody will want them because they'll go to Staples and pay twenty eight bucks for them. Oh yeah, they're expensive. All right. What? What? You did three things already. I did. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, I just went to the bathroom and she did three things already, Bobby. What are we gonna do, Bobo? Huh, Bobo? Oh my gosh. Okay. I don't know. I'll just keep grabbing things off the shelf. You just will tell me. I mean my shelves are packed right here. <clears throat> okay. Brand new, brand new, brand new puzzle. There's your price. Brand new sealed puzzle. That's what she looks like. Gonna start her at. Are you ready? Six dollars. Great gift. Great gift for the holidays. It's 500 pieces. This is your brand. Sorry. There's that. That's the thought in my head. And I was like, am I bringing skincare and makeup? I had a thought while I was down there and I forgot it all. Okay. And that's another gift. Brand new in the box. This is a buy it now for $12. Comes with the ink. It comes with your different he uh, fountain tip heads. Oh, good night, Vintage Memories. Thank you so much. And it comes with your ink. It comes in the box. comes with your directions. Good night, Robin. So Thank you for your help. All right, Junebug. Thank you. So it's a peacock fountain pen. It comes with everything they need to start calligraphy. Beautiful comes with the ink. It's a buy it now for $12. Nice gift for the holidays. There's all the new different tips. And it tells you how to do it. It comes in the box. Fountain pen. Buy it now. $12. KK. It comes with a fresh bottle of ink. Yes, all it's a pen. Set. There's a calligraphy fountain pen, see? Perfect. Let's get one. Or the box go. Oh. What else? Oh, I know. My hand 
I would not be able to. Okay. Well, maybe I could. I mean, I still do nice eyeliner, so maybe I could still do it. Maybe. All right. Anybody want a bulk? I don't know. What am I bringing? Um, hmm. Hmm. Funko Pops? Jewelry? What? Let's, let's talk about the Funko Pops. I have three here, so... I have other vintage stuff too, but I don't know what to bring. I just put my butt on camera. Dang. It's not allowed. It's not allowed. Oh, oh. All right, let's see. Let's let's do this. All right. I could hold three, right? All right, here we go. Now the this one has a sleeve on it. We're gonna start the bid at ten dollars for choice. So Hattie's has the sleeve on the box. The other two do not. You got Tailspin, you got Rumpelstiltskin from uh, Once Upon a Time, and then you got the uh, Hattie's from, um, oh, I don't even remember now, My, uh, Hercules. Hi, Warcraft, how are you? Warcraft, how are you? Good to see you. Junebug wants rumple still skin. Junebug, you got to put ten dollars in the chat. We have to pretend we're bidding. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, she's like, I'll just take rumple still skin. Which and one Kate was that? Says, okay, we'll sell it to June. <laughs> That's right. Kate is like, no, you give it to June. June's, June's like, I'm good. Oh my gosh. Anybody want any of the other ones? Anybody want uh, Hades from Hercules or the tiger from Tailspin? <laughs> right, June? <laughs> it's like, I'm just going to stay in now because I want it. I don't know why this guy is so much heavier than this one. I'm still trying to figure out that. You know, they all weigh about the same, right? Right. She's so much heavier. I'm like, why? All right. Any other interest? No? No other interest. Oh. Go away. Go away. All right. Anybody need any skincare? Any makeup? <laughs> skincare? <laughs> Jewelry? Uh, what else do we not bring for you guys tonight? Jay. Oh, Jay's making deals already, huh? All right, Jay. That's fine. <laughs> Oh, he's a reseller. He likes to make deals. Okay, fine. He's a good customer. I can vouch for him. That's fine. I'm good. Like I said, make an offer. You never know, right? All so, right. So, Jay. so DJ Hades and the Tiger. Okay, I had to write it down. Perfect. Thank you. All right. What do we got? Anybody want any skincare? Any foundation? Uh, what do we got here? Let's go with this for now. Anybody want some it foundation? I've got two bottles, and they are both uh, medium natural. 
It Cosmetics Foundation. I can't stand the glare tonight. I'm so sorry, you guys. I really don't know what changed. What's going on? So it's a foundation. You guys know how much this costs. Medium neutral. If you want to see what the color looks like, I'll show you the bottle. That's your color. And what's the brand? It Cosmetics. This is $49 on your regular. These are probably less than, I think I got these about a month ago. So these are regularly $49 and I will sell them to you for 20 bucks. So each, not one. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I can, I usually do like half off at least, if not more. Well, that is more $20 a piece, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So if that's your color, you can get two for the price of less than one. What else I got? Hey. Nobody, nobody wants it cosmetics. Nobody, no cosmetics for nobody. No cosmetics. I got. Howler, sterling silver. What do you want? What do you want? Um, let's see. Like you want me to do a bundle? I can always do this. I like doing this part. Let's do this. <laughs> I'm terrible but good at the same time. All right, let's do one, two, three. All right, let's do this. This will put back. Nobody wanted that one. All right. Let's do this. Um, all right. How am I going to get this to, like, stop doing this? All right. Like, this should not be doing this. Let's move that. All right. All right. This is Glow Recipe Watermelon Fine Mist. All right. We're going to add start this uh, bundle at... $25. Okay. It's going to be a whole bundle. Ready? You get the glow recipe. You were going to get oh, this explain, rent. Explain, could you explain to a, a, a uh, someone who doesn't under know this? So this glow mist is going to be a, um, how do I explain it to you guys? <laughs> well, just explain it to me. They probably know. So it's just a, it's a fine mist. It's got like hydrolonic acid and like all your like, um, you know, your basic um, regular um, like, I don't know, watermelon is like uh, antioxidant and stuff like that. And that's well, a bit, but where do you, you know, put it? You spray it on your face. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's for your skin. So um, basically you hold it, you know, like, you know, eight to 10 inches away and you spray it on your face and it moisturizes your face. And uh, yeah, it's um, this one has hydrolonic acid, hibiscus, and it refreshes and softens and enhances your makeup or just your skin in general. So um, it's a really... Up, Kathy. Kathy, stop laughing at me. I don't use this stuff. <laughs> Glow Recipe is a really great brand. So you got that. This is Ren Skincare. And so this is calming for the Jackie, skin. There are like other things on your body you could glow. This is also for your face. But you also like if you have like rosacea or redness in your skin on your face, this is calming for your skin on your face. Yeah. Um, this is Estee Lauder makeup remover for your face. Um, this is Advanced Lash and Brow Glow by Privilege. Okay. So you got four really great items here. And then the fifth item that I'm going to put into this, 
this alone is $20, but this is the makeup eraser. It takes all of your makeup off with just water. Warm water is the most best cloth you can get. Then you wring it out, hang it, let it dry. You can reuse it the next day and the next day. It will not put bacteria back on your face. And then you wash it in the washer and then you reuse it again. It's amazing. It's so. a recyclable makeup eraser. It's so look, five items. We're going to go with this right here. Start at $25. Start on this lot, ladies. One for your stocking, one for my stocking, one for, you know, your friend's stocking. Just saying. Just saying. Just saying. These are all brand new items. These are, I mean, yeah. I don't know. That's less than five dollars a piece, and these, this right here costs twenty dollars. You know, Essay Lauder costs like forget about it. This here costs forty dollars. Oh wait, and then this lash grow stuff, forget it. You can't even find that for a cheap price. So just saying, it's a lot for a lot, a cheap lot. No, no one's in. Put in the chat what you guys want to say. What do you want to say? I am. Oh, look. Me Merce Keeper said, I want to keep it. She's going to make me take it back out. See that? She's like, I didn't. She must have. She probably just went off on and searched and said, oh, what am I doing? Oh, oh. Well, the best I could do for you is 80s and 90s football cars, but not baseball cars. I don't have any of those. Neymar says, I know what I'm getting, so I'm not going to let her put that back. Right? I'm going to love it. Love it. I like to do deals. Deal, deal. Deals. All right. Some of you guys are new to me, so I'll get your info from T. And yes, guys, don't forget when you share with me, you share with my guests. So, all right. I love it. Thank you, me memers. All right, guys. That's going to do it for us tonight. Rachel, thank you for joining me. I appreciate it. I love it. it. You guys, I love um, it. Warcraft, maybe next time. I have a few. Um, I showed some the other night. Jay had no competition. He I have a huge box of football. Okay. Huge. Yeah, Warcraft, maybe Tuesday night when I come on again. I have some some silly baseball cards sitting around here somewhere. I'll dig them out, and uh, I'll try to show them. Guys, thank you again. There's Rachel's email. She will send you an invoice with shipping um, unless you'd like to attend one of her auctions and bundle some more stuff up. Um, she'll be live Monday night. Jay, she'll send you an invoice, hon. She'll send you an yep. invoice. PayPal invoice. I'll send you a PayPal invoice if that's... Yep. I'll share your I'll share your email address and she will send you um, a PayPal invoice. So no worries. Um, and then um, she'll mail everything out once she gets paid. And I know we don't have to worry about a lot of you here, so all good. <laughs> um, guys, Please, I will everybody. be on record Sunday on whatnot, but I may do coffee in an auction. Uh, no, actually, I won't this week. I forgot I can't. Um, so unfortunately, I can't. But I will see you Tuesday night at 5 p.m. Eastern, guys. Thanks for coming in. We appreciate it. Rachel, thanks um, for coming on. Thanks for having me. It was fun with you. You're welcome. All right. Love. Have a great night, guys. We love you. Bye, Thank everybody. You.